Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Fire. So today, we got a cool one for you I picked up at the gun show. This here is our M92 PAP. You're going to get it like this from Century Arms in the box. In your box, you're going to have some foam. Underneath your foam, you'll have this little fella. Now, I don't know if you've seen much about these things, but they are cool, dude. It's a pistol, AK-47. Uh, you know style the m92 is chambered in 7.62 by 39 uh, there's the other variant that is uh, the 556 and takes the AR 15 magazines which is kind of cool but I am a big fan of 7.62 by 39 so I went with that you get one of these uh, P mags with it and you get one of these I believe these are those um, what are these ones? The Bulgarian ones or something like that? Um, but you get one of these. I love these ones. These are like my favorite. I always pick a bunch of them up at the gun show if I ever can. You can get them for like 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, right out the box. That's what you get. Let's take him out and get this box out of our way here. Slide that fell over there. Okay. So, you got a pretty much plain Jane wood stock. Uh, nothing fancy there. I rubbed a little orange oil into it just to... You know, not have dirt and stuff get into uh, the wood grains and stain it but I've actually got the uh, Midwest Industries rail coming so we'll do an install video on that when it gets here and we'll talk a little bit more about it um, it comes with a threaded muzzle uh, for your crink style uh, muzzle brakes and uh, flash hiders and etc the uh, device is actually pinned well not pinned I'm sorry it's a little weld on the end there but you can see I filed mine off already and then once you do that, you can take this guy right off. They're reverse threads. And then you take that sucker off. That's just your thread protector. And you're going to need one of the little spring and pin kits that go right into this hole there. Um, that just is going to interface with any muzzle device that you put on there that will keep it from backing off. But yeah, that's a nice little feature that that comes with. So we'll just pop that sucker back on there. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now the other things I was impressed with is I have a few other AK-47s. Um, mine are just the typical AK-47s. Nothing like special. Nothing like AK-74s or anything like that. But uh, this guy here has set that down just for a second. You press the button here to release the uh, the dust cover. And the dust cover on this is hinged, which I thought was really cool. Um, I've never owned one like that yet. Um, I'm sure some of you guys that are more into AKs or have a bigger AK collection have seen something like that and think it's pretty cool, but I thought it was neat. Um, the internals are really, really nice. They're like a uh, highly polished uh, stainless steel looking material. Um, I imagine they're either stainless or just, you know, really nice high polished steel. Um, all the internal mechs look really, really nice. Um, there's actually a little price tag from a magazine down in there that fell off in there. <laughs> we'll have to get that out. Um, nothing fancy as far as the handle goes. Uh, that's going to get replaced here too. It's really just like a, um, like nasty kind of hard plastic. But this is a nice like thick walled receiver. Um, they seem really, really, really high quality. I picked one up because of the, you know, videos I saw out there. Show that these things are capable of some pretty amazing accuracy and I am a huge fan of any um, like AR or just uh, well, yeah, you know, assault rifle style uh, pistol. Uh, big, big fan. I mean, you guys saw the video on, hang on this guy over here before. That's our 7.62 by 39 radical firearms. Uh, AR-15 pistol and this thing is awesome. I, I've been out hunting with this a bunch of times now. I love this thing. Now you've seen here that this guy has the little SBR style um, stock on it. It's not technically a stock by the ATF's laws now. Uh, you were initially allowed to shoulder these. Now you're only allowed to cheek them and use this as an arm brace. So this is technically an arm brace but it's still like an ATF loophole type device to giving yourself what we're going to have to call here an SBR look. You know what I mean? I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want, you know what I mean? 
but this is technically not legal to shoulder but without having a class 2 you can put these on and there it is that's that you know and so without further ado we got that guy that's the uh, uh, little what is this thing called the uh, damn well I'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> but this guy here is real real easy to install we'll do that right now let's see here you just right on the bottom here there's a screw you just take that screw out get your handle raised up there this guy just interfaces right with the back there like that and that is literally all there is to it tighten this guy down nice now mind you get it good and tight because you're gonna be out there shooting you don't want the vibration setting that loose on you but there you are so now again look at that we've got an SBR looking little uh, AK pap this thing is sweet now <laughs> length for length here looks like we're coming in a little bit longer with the M92 than we are with the uh, AK pistol or AR pistol the AR pistol is advertised advertised as having a uh, seven and a half inch barrel. This guy here is, uh, I believe, the ten and a half is what it says. So, like I said, I've got a few things coming in the mail for this. Um, I've got a rail coming from a company up here that I want to say was called like shit, something crazy. I, I, I'll have to post it on the screen. I can't remember. I, I came across it in a Google search. And then I got the Midwest Industries Rail coming. Uh, we'll end up going up and we'll pick up another one of these. These are just the uh, Bushnell AR223s. But I've had them on here and shooting 7.62 and had no issues with it whatsoever. So we're going to get another one of these. We're going to put it on both of these. So we're going to be on an even playing field. We're going to be running the same mount. We're going to be running the same scope. And we're going to take them out. And we're going to see how they do accuracy-wise compared you know, to each other. Because this here is all, you know, obviously mil-spec. Uh, match grade barrel and everything uh, these um, you know I, I'm not gonna lie to you I don't know the um, if it's like a melanite barrel or anything like that on these but I, I imagine to be honest with you it's probably just cold rolled steel um, you know it's it's probably you know your typical sort of AK nothing like incredibly fancy just a super super survivable you know, gun that's gonna last forever, kind of thing. You know, I mean, you know, if you know anything about AKs, you can run them over with the truck, and they're always gonna shoot. Uh, you know, AR is a little bit more sensitive. You know, not a lot more sensitive, but you know, they don't like to get super, super dirty inside. You know, you'll end up with uh, little misfiring issues. You know, they like to run wet. These stinkers here, hell, I mean, <laughs> they probably run full of rust. They're, they're just beasts. You know, so I was just excited to get another one for the collection. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys thought that was cool. If you guys have been thinking about getting one, I'll tell you what, I haven't been out to shoot this one yet, but I've been watching videos, I've been, you know, I just haven't had a chance to get out to the range, uh, you know, so I just want to do a little unboxing for you and a quick little install of that, uh, I think they're called like the SB47 or something like that, the little arm brace, it's like the, or maybe it's AB47, it's, it's something 47, but... Uh, these things are cool. These are about like 130, 40, 50 bucks, depending upon where you find them. These things right here are going for about 500 bucks. I picked this one up for 580 at the gun show. Um, I mean, I got it that day. I didn't, you know, have to pay to ship it to me because, like, you can find them on Gun Broker for like 500 bucks. But then you're looking at, let's say, shipping 30 bucks, uh, having your FFL receive it, which is anywhere from like probably 40 to 70 bucks. So, you know, I, d I did okay, you know, in that ballpark, I kind of did the math on it and he had one of these sitting right next to it in the case. And I was like, shit, you know, give me that guy too. So, um, you know, and just like a little side note, you know, I mean, I, I, I know sometimes I, I put a little bit too much information into these videos, but I really like sharing cool stuff with you guys that, you know, maybe somebody else hadn't thought about, but like I was saying, you know, these are SBR styled rifles right now. Um, you know, technically, uh, by the look of them and what you could do with them, but you're not supposed to do with them. I mean, obviously, like I said, if you have your own property and you're out doing what you do, that's your business. You know what I mean? Uh, but like I said, legally, you are not allowed to shoulder these. You are allowed to put them on your cheek and you are allowed to use them as an arm brace. 
Um, now, that being said, you know, like I said, this is, like, you're, like, basically getting a Class 2 without a Class 2, without having to do the Class 2 stamp. Now, you can get a Class 2 stamp. You can go and fill out that paperwork, and you can get your stamp, you know, 200 bucks, register it, and everything, and legally be able to shoulder it and do all that stuff, you know, real cheap, you know, real easy. Like, you saw that was one screw there on that one. Uh, this one, obviously, is a little bit different because it's an AR-15, so it's like a buffer tube assembly that goes together in there, but... You know, again, nothing crazy, um, and they're super, super cool because, you know, with this election uh, and everything that's going on right now, uh, I think, like, Bernie kind of just flipped his stance uh, when the Democrats started backing him, and now, uh, you know, he wants to get rid of everything assault weapon, you know, and, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's like everything's going crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, it seems like people are going crazy, too. The world is just getting a little bit nuts, but, uh, you know... I think these are going to be one of the first thing to go. These, you know, SBR capable and um, AR style pistols. You know, I think that's you know too close to the class two for the ATF, and they're not liking that. So my recommendation to you guys is, if you guys like these, if you guys were interested in getting one, both these weapons here, like you've seen in this pre previous video, if you haven't seen it, it's awesome. Radical firearms. They unfortunately do not make the 7.62 by 39 chambered ones anymore but you can get 223556 and they're still awesome um actually a buddy of mine uh over at 70 uh 704 tactical i believe it is uh he does a lot of videos on radical firearm stuff if you want to go check them out uh he covers tons of their stuff and i mean he he loves every single product so and like I said, I've been in love with this one. I would, you know, hands down, never have a problem getting another one from them. This is Zostavov. Um, you know, that's good uh, Siberian stuff right there. You're not going to go wrong. Uh, you know, again, like I said, you know, both these, um, like I said, this uh, back in the day when I made that video was about 599 bucks. This one I got for 580 bucks. Two very, very capable, cool brush guns, uh, great for hunting. Very accurate, very capable, um, very nice internals on this one, very nice internals on that one. Both incredibly high quality guns, both in an SBR style, and both something your government's probably going to be coming here for real, real quick and real, real soon. So my personal recommendation is, if you, like I said, if, if you've been thinking about going and picking one up and you've just been putting a little bit of money away, make this your next, uh, next one because if you got one, obviously it's going to get grandfathered in and then the private market on these is going to skyrocket. It's going to be crazy. So, uh, just some food for thought there, okay? Now, like I said, once I get those parts in, we'll uh, be back with another update. We'll take these guys out to the range. Um, I'm just waiting on them. I ordered them a couple days ago, so they should be in here, you know, probably three or four days. We'll do some videos on getting everything installed, get out the drill press, we'll tap it. We'll show you how to do all that stuff. You know, it's nothing to be scared of. I've done it to a plenty of guns here, and then this one's just going to be the receive, uh, dust cover. So that's going to be real easy stuff. Um, so stay tuned. Come, you know, come again, check that out. Uh, Give us a like, give us a subscribe, uh, take good care of each other, you know, um, be good, stay out of trouble. All right, guys, hopefully I'll see you soon. All right, bye.